And there are people, right here in the United States, who devote their lives to proving the existence of an Aryan master race. People like a Georgetown University graduate and self-described white civil rights activist, John De Nugent. All these names. Oliver Stone, did you say? <laughs> All these names. I did not kill JFK. I'm sorry. You have the wrong number. Can we come in? In. Thank you. <laughs> Carmen, come on. Come on back. For De Nugent, the Meadowcroft spearhead is proof that an Aryan master race once peopled the world. Yes. Um, my pleasure, my pleasure. Uh, white people, white Europeans, came to North and Central and South America 10,000 years before the Red Man came from Siberia and down through Alaska into what is now the United States. The Nugent's conclusions are as far-reaching and scientifically unsupported as anything proposed by Himmler or the Ananerbe. The Red Man then proceeded to commit genocide on our people. We whites were victims of genocide before in North America, and I believe that we are facing in the next 20 years gradual or even complete genocide once again. In De Nugent's view, white people are the heroes and victims of history. White people had spread around the world and they were a civilizing, civilized people, people of voyagers and discoverers. They were a conquering, warlike, blonde-haired, blue-eyed people. John De Nugent holds views that many find deeply offensive, but he still has a large audience. So there is a massive international web community that taps in and follows you online to learn about your theories, your thinking, your, your understanding of history. There are people all around the world, and of course, there's cyber warfare being waged against my website. As he gets to know me, the Nugent reveals his admiration for the Nazis. Not a Hitlerite. I disagree with some of Hitler's policies, but Hitler was fighting for white people. He was fighting against the Jewish takeover of the media and the financial system and the banking system. The Nugent's ideas about America have only the most speculative evidence and beliefs about places like the Canary Islands are just like those of the SS, myths presented as truth. And, and the Spanish were amazed to find this blonde, Swedish-looking people down there off the coast of Africa. You're presenting historical ideas which are continuing to incite racial hatred. It is completely appropriate to feel hatred for somebody exterminating you. Do you have a weapon? I, I, this, is, this, is, this is a 9 millimeter Makarov. And I'm very proud also of this German laser Walther pistol. Every American has a right to have weapons. This is why we became a free country. Oh, or oh well, is that cocked? Yes, it is. Can we uncock it without pointing it at me? Why, why do you need to have them cocked? Well, Isn't that dangerous? It could blow, could blow a hole in your leg or worse, your you know, family uh, jewels. Whenever six strange men come into my house, I'm always armed. Despite the theatrics of his loaded pistols, the Nugent is trying to bring me into his world of racial categories, where he and I supposedly sit at the highest level. So would you class classify yourself as Aryan by the Oh, country? absolutely, I'm an Aryan. And you're an Aryan too, I believe, unless you're high, something in the woodpile you're not telling me about. Who knows? I need to get my DNA examined, I think, then I'll <laughs> probably find out. They may not wave Nazi flags or prominently display pictures of Adolf Hitler, but the Ananerbe's view of history is still being communicated by true believers, people like the Nugent. He's a front man who uses the internet to get the message across. And he might seem like he's on the fringe of society and he's irrelevant to everyone else, but people listen. And their twisted ideas live on. It's time to test these Nazi racial beliefs. De Nugent thinks I'm an Aryan, so let's find out with DNA and whether there's any truth to the concept of an Aryan master race.